stand down. Big shout out to the whole Bay Area out there. Everybody out there in Cali, NYC. Yeah, shout out to... Kanishiwa. Kanishiwa. Yeah. yeah. Guten Tag. Yeah. All my people alaykum. out there. Assalamu alaikum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bonjour. Yeah, bonjour. Uh, shout out to Racy6. Oh, okay. What's happening? What's going down? Mm -hmm. I see you. We see you. We see you. Shout it's Wool Wednesday. We got uh -huh. Don Pacino up in the building. Uh -huh. We chopped it up about his long catalog. And he's going to be in the building talking about some secret stuff. Uh-huh. What y'all doing this weekend? Uh, yeah. Hit us up. Mm -hmm. The inbox. It's Let us know what you're doing this weekend. It's almost Halloween. Yeah. Trick or treat. Yeah. Where y'all going? Y'all going to go out or... Stay in or go to the mall. What's what's the COVID nineteen Halloween look like? That's I don't I think COVID nineteen gonna <laughs> stop anything because everybody got to wear masks. So if you got a mask, that's even safer. You think, that's your whole face. Well, I was saying that because of the candy. Oh yeah, well, definitely be safe out there. Be safe. Check that uh -huh. candy before you for yeah. you eat it. Uh -huh. I used to check that out anyway, but just even now, because of the COVID-19, because of COVID-19, I just wanted to see what y'all was going to do. What's your thoughts on trick-or-treating for Halloween in the COVID-19? What that look like for y'all? Yeah. What it look like for y'all? COVID-19, trick-or-treat, Halloween. Trick-or-treat. Trick-or-treat. Smell my feet. For Give me Pacino. something good to eat. And if you we'll don't, play. I don't care. I pull down my underwear. Oh. Who remembers that? Yeah, that's a classic. Yeah. Uh -huh. They used to do that over here on the West Coast. I come up with different slangs and people give you like think stingy children, with the candy. Children do that everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love that about kids. They be direct, straight up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't hold no words. So especially what, the what's, kids what's nowadays. New, what's Don Pacino's new joint? Don Pacino, new joint. Oh, he got a lot. I read it all. He got Gotham with Bugsy. Mm -hmm. He got just a lot of stuff going on, okay. and I was playing it. What are we spinning right now? Um, right now, just the instrumentals, okay. Wu-Tang, RZA. And we, I was picking him up about his... um. Grammy nomination okay. and the Good Humor Ice Cream theme song and being on Hulu Part Two, so that so was. So while big. we wait for Don Pacino to tap in, you guys head on over there to Rain Jackson Live. Yeah, on catch us. Facebook, and then you can see the full interview. Yeah, All see right. us live and direct. We're going there right, 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 right now. Yeah, not now. Right, right now. So while they tapping on over there, uh, I guess we got to blast off some music for y'all because this is like really like a podcast and we talking and y'all tuned in and it's Woo Wednesday. So I want to play a little bit of a Don Pacino, nothing moves but Don Pacino right now until he taps on in and then uh, we're going to be politicking with him. So... I'm gonna go over here on these turntables and uh, mm -hmm. clear this up quick, fast. And nothing moves but Don P, Don Pacino, Don, the terrorists. Yeah. So let me get into that. Y'all tapped into Livewire Radio Show. Make sure you get get the link and uh, pull up with us. Tag on in. Tag on in. Go get your Scooby Snacks. It's going down. Woo Wednesday. Okay, Don Pacino, where you at? Let y'all hear this one for the one time. <laughs> 
in the slums where I rest at. I got a lot of hearts, so I had to rest that. God bless that lack and kept the spit lyrics like spit balls. I watch these niggas playing games like a big boss. Have them in my ear like a rip boss. The hope is in kid and fucks. No comparison, just get lost. We challenge your big laws. Track it last draw. Tell me how much to change course. Take a scrap. Anything to worry about? Seeing that while you're on your track. Got no trigger, so I'm gonna fire back. Back back to the stiff jazz. My folks are fit up and sit back. Stay smoking niggas like zigzag. Your whole crew. And I am fortunate to appear on this track. As the element of fire and sources you. I'm all in. The niggas keep stalling. Not the big day, but a nigga be growing. The bigger they are, that's the harder they're growing. I'm a climb to the top and I'm a soft, I'm growing. I'm all in. You niggas keep stalling. Not the big day, but a nigga be growing. The bigger they are, that's the harder they're growing. I'm a climb to the top and I'm a soft, I'm growing. The bigger they are, the harder they're growing. The smaller they are, the harder they grow. I'm a fish for the stars, but I'm not that tall. I'm a shopaholic nigga, I don't want to do more. I'm all in, I'm all in. The nigga all out of the rest. Can't do another bit, try and signal the rest. Try and make it through the fight, but they can't fuck with the best. It's the art, the way I paint the picture. Tell a story when I write my scriptures. They tell stories, but the niggas stitch it. I'm all in and they all out of ammo. It's the PRT last scene that's like a white camo. Right across the desert in that bitch camo. Right across the New York street. In that black Lambo, keep a tight circle with my family. Don't like to take chances, so I don't gamble. But the niggas don't shit, yeah, they like to ramble. All set to mommy, like they want to stay. Niggas keep stalling. I'm not gonna be paid, but it's gonna be growing. The bigger they are, that's the harder they're growing. I'm a clown to the top, and I'm a star, I'm growing. I'm all in. The niggas keep stalling. I'm not gonna be paid, but it's gonna be growing. The bigger they are, that's the harder they're growing. I'm a clown to the top, and I'm a star, I'm growing. And you the bigger they are, farther the ball, the cats and women send them all water. Mr. Scarlet, Mr. Marlin, yes, they rollin', the alcoholics, in the bar, all the bricks on the back, to the quick the head, not so with your friends, but I took your boy, boy, took the ball, send it again, now we in the group, in the central of Brooklyn, that town, with some damn handcuffs again, what a journey. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? It's Woo Wednesday. Woo Wednesday. We have a special guest. Yup, yup. It's going down. It's going down. We got the terrorists in the building. Dawn Pacino, Nate Palm recording artist. Yeah, the bees are swarming. Uh huh. It's going down. The bees are swarming. It's going down, man. It's it's so crazy. It's so ill. Dawn Pacino is going tap in today. Yeah. Yeah. I just can't wait. It's fantastic. Yeah. Y'all know how we do, man. Another woo fantastic Wednesday. The swarm continues. Yeah. DJ Loudwire, Ray Jackson, Dawn Pacino, Napalm recording artist. We're going to be chopping it up about this COVID-19, his longevity, and his hip-hop uh, community, hip-hop world and all that. He got a lot of uh, intelligence, so I can't wait to kick it with him. I think it's going to be fabulous. Yeah, something magnificent. So yes, yeah, stay tapped in. Make sure you go get your Scooby snacks because it's going down right here on the Live Wire radio show. Woo Wednesday. You know how we do. So tell a friend to tell a friend, tap on in because it's going down. Yeah. It's going down. It's going down. The time now is equality, knowledge, knowledge. Know your math. It's 611 on the East Coast, and it's understanding knowledge, knowledge on the West Coast, which is 3.11 p.m. Know your mathematics, very important. Yeah, part of key to life. Big shouts to the gods and earths out there. Yeah, we got Don Pacino up in the building, so we just waiting for him to tap on in. Right now, we blasting off with the terrorists. If you tapped in the live wire radio show, it's the terrorist pirate ships blasting off right now uh, with War Ghost and Don Pacino. Yeah, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so nothing moves but Don Pacino, Napalm, right now. Former artist from the Kill Army. Yeah. I like the sound of that. Mm-hmm. Napalm. Napalm. Don Pacino. Bees are swarming. Well, tap on in, hit us in the inbox. Let us know what you want to hear. Which favorite song from Don Pacino you would like to hear this full Wednesday? Yeah. We was waiting for Don Pacino to tap on in. Yeah, we waiting for Don P to tap on in. Mm-hmm. And we're going to chop it up with him. Right now, it's the terrorists, pirate ships blasting off, war ghosts, Don Pacino. Big shout out to Shamika Bottoms and everybody up there at Protect Your Neck Records. Yeah. Big shout out to Rod Dollar and all that. Mook in the morning. Make sure you tap in every morning, Mook in the morning, to get you a fresh dose of what's going on with the woo politics. Uh-huh. Yeah. Politics is once in a blue moon, couple of years. woo Tain is forever. <laughs> yeah. Did you know that uh, Method Man is dropping part three, the rehab? Mm-hmm. The meth lab yeah, part three. Hulu. Yeah. No, the music. Oh. Yeah, the music. It's released. It's called the uh, the rehab. Oh, the rehab. Part three. Yeah, Method Man. Oh, I thought they were gonna also do a um third series. Yeah, that too. Oh, okay. Yeah, that too. So it's a combination. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a combination. It's a special, a Wu Tang special. Big shouts out the hands on and all that, mm-hmm. and everybody up there at the meth lab. Our uh, brand new facility is open. Shout out to y'all. Yeah, so make Thank sure you, you book their sessions. They do videos and uh, do recordings. Mm-hmm. A one uh, shop, a one stop shop. One stop shop at, at the, the Meth Lab. Lab. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so make sure y'all go check out the Meth Lab. And Woo Radio is official, back open, brand new location in Virginia. Okay. November the 1st, it opens up. So that's some extra Woo news for y'all out there. That's what's up. Yeah. It's Woo Wednesday, and we're going to be chopping it up with Don Pacino. You know what I'm saying? He's in. The, he's going to be in the building. So that's going to be a wonderful thing, you know? For all those that tagged in on Hype Saturday, salute to y'all, Phaedro Star and uh, the Rock Boy family. That was huge. Yeah. Big shout out to Rusty Jooks. He keeps releasing music. Hits after hits after hits. So it's a continuous flow coming out of this COVID-19. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Big shout out to 144,000. Judah Priest and Buddha Monk and the Zoo Bullies and Dungeon Master, Dirty Clansmen and all that. Timbo King, the Royal Fam. Can't forget about them. Uh, Wu Fam also. Salute to y'all. They got that, uh, that billboard plaque. They were starting on there with the flag. Yeah, the swarm continues. People doing good things, man. I love to see people uh, do their thing, man. It's an honor. Yeah, so y'all keep running. Okay, uh, Don P is there, and he said he's the only one there, so you got a tag on there. He's not here. I know where he is. <laughs> okay, we're going to find him. <laughs> It's going down, live wire radio. I'm networking, got the phone out. Yeah, also a shout out to the Los Angeles BMAs and uh, lots of good. Make sure you go vote Yeah, for your favorite artists. And uh, we have a few from the Climax Corporation uh, releases. And we have uh, Stephanie Angelini. Salute to her. We have... What's that, the hit single, uh, Cuz of You? Uh-huh. Oh, okay, okay. And how about uh, Latrice? Latrice, mm-hmm. she's on there as well. I think, what's what's that song? Lonely, right? Or is it something new that hit the... Uh, Latrice the has five different categories. So maybe Wow, not two, one, not Los two, Angeles, not three, not four, but five. Uh-huh, five okay. different cap- categories. And you also have a national 
uh, nominated for national for the uh, your single knocking at the door. So go out there, go vote. Raindrops loves holidays was nominated for national album of the year. Wow, which one? One or two? Raindrops loves holidays, which is two. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And um, salute to you, congratulations, and all that, and all the artists that's on that. Congratulations to y'all. Is that not happening, or what was going on? Oh, uh, I, I can only wait. You know, I, I'm waiting, and I want to make sure you tap have in. The then correct information. I can only wait, and that's what we're doing. Being patient, patience, virtual is the key. It's Wool Wednesday. It's going down, so y'all make sure y'all tap on in. Nothing is live. Oh, okay. Well, if you keep tapping off, I don't know. You see me? See, she's tapping on. She's tapping off, so. No. He can't talk. He needs to tap in on Zoom. Yes. And until he does, I don't want to go live on anything else because then we're just stalling. We took longer than this without the stuff. Sly, let me just focus on getting the brother there, please. Well, that's what I'm doing. I'm working it. Okay, he's showing me something, but okay, he's there. Where, where is there? At the climax call. No, he needs to be on Zoom. This right here is Mama. I just killed the man, Shaheen, Don Pacino, Freezer and Nizzle. The ID number. So he's not getting his emails. He's at. He got. He's asking for the ID number. <sighs> Can you please tell him check his email? Huh? Check his email. Live, so serious TV. <laughs> That's yeah, I'm here. I'm hearing y'all now, man. I'm back. I got it together. Dingo, dingo, dog, dog, napalm. What's going on, know. man? Hey, shit, man. Just working, grinding, trying to do the damn thing. You know, okay. family life and all that. You know. Ah, ah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah they, right. they, no, they I want to the COVID. 
I got one hand on the phone, so I can't do too much. You know what I mean? <laughs> What's, good, What's good, brother? What's good, you, lady? Sometimes me, sometimes hey. Rain Jackson. I'm over here multitasking. <laughs> I hear that, man. I wear like 30 hats, so I know what that's about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you already know, know entrepreneurs and all that. Yeah. You know, it's Wool Wednesday. We got a general in the building. Yes. Napalm. Owner, mm -hmm. founder, Don Pacino. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hey. Yeah, Don yeah. B, it's an honor to have you in the building. Woo Wednesday. You know, yeah. I would like to dig into the history of Don Pacino and how did you, um, yeah, let's just start from there. The history of Don Pacino before anything else. All right, well. Shit, you know, I come from, uh, I was born uptown, Dykeman, all the way up, all the way, all the way up, 200 Street, Thayer Street, over there. Um, we, we left there when I was about six, six, seven-ish, in between there. Moved to Stapleton, my uncle bought a big house over there. He was a Wall Street uh, guy, he was doing his thing, you know what I mean, back in, at that time, you know. Um, which was the early '80s, you know, and he he took uh he took his family out there, his two sisters, which was my aunt and my mom, and you know bought the house and for a better way, you know what I mean? Because we came from nothing, so he he's the one who made it and did a little something, and 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 you know what we thought was gonna be you know a better life, tend to being we was in a hood in Staten Island, we thought it was better in Staten Island, sound good, especially back then it was like it was a, it was an upcome from going from uptown, to, you know, but we were smack dab in Stapleton, you know what I mean? <laughs> and we had the house and all that, but it was right near the projects and all that. And come to find out that, you know, then uh, then Prince Rakeem, which is, you know, turned into the RZA, lived across the street. His little brother, Ninth Prince, a couple of his brothers, sisters and all that, literally right across the street. So, you know, me growing up, kids, me and Ninth became friends. His brother was doing the music thing. We was trying to, you know, trying to, you know, emulate that rapping and all that. And uh, we had a little click, and then, you know, that's how that happened. We seen we seen them do it, and then you know they came on. You know, fast forward the story, make it quick. They came on, they did their thing, and then we came out after that under that umbrella. You know what I mean? So that's how that happened. <laughs> you know, a lot of little intangibles in between. You know, him moving to Ohio, meeting a couple of Ohio kids because he was back and forth. His father lived in Ohio, so that's where the Beretta Nines and the Shogun Assassin, uh, Shogun Assassin, Fourth Disciple, kind of come into play with that. But we kind of was doing our music before he even, you know, really went over there and did that. You know, we had our little thing going on. And then Ninth was a common denominator and kind of brought the two, his, his newfound friends out there in Ohio and me, to, you know, the A1H from back in, um, you know, Staten Island and kind of, you know, put that together. You know what I mean? So that's, mm. that's that history right there. Uh -huh. That's that original Wu-Tang history yeah. so you was up there in stapleton when rizza had the um that small little room when he was doing the recordings in the pjs well that, well that oh well i was from the pjs yeah but i don't think that one i see you're talking about what uh that, that uh the uh, hulu thing that came out yeah that talking, i don't know if that was the pjs i was there since the pj crib but I don't think the one I think that was a house that with the basement that was a house that was a little side house that was that was probably around I don't even know where that that might have been a little pre the project thing because uh, he had the project joint this was before Wu Tang too I was like eight nine years old we used to be over there and um RZA had the joint um and, and the staple in the projects and it was no Wu Tang then it was just ODB Jizza being at the house drinking forties I remember ODB singing. And Riz would be on the turntables because he used to, you know, he DJ too a little bit. You know what I mean? So he'd be doing the DJ thing. So this is all pre Wu Tang. I've been around before the clan even, you know, formulated. That's what a lot of people don't understand my history. You know, what I mean, I wasn't catch, came on, got on, you know, rap, oh, got signed to it. None of that. That, that. that wasn't my story. My story is just being up around that, growing up as a little brother, coming best friends with uh, Riz's little brother, which is the founder, and and pretty much, you know what I mean? That's my history. You know. Okay. Mm. OG Triple O. You know what I mean? It's, it's the Triple OG. OG. Yeah. Boom, boom. Okay. Yeah, and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. You I've know. Seen a lot, so man. How was it growing up? I mean, 
you've been in the game for a very long time. Their catalog is huge. You was there from day one. How was it seeing the W grow and yourself grow within the W to even create your own company? Like, when did it come apart that you elevated from um, a caterpillar into a butterfly to realize the aspect of this music career from a, um, a business aspect, no longer from an artist aspect. Mm. That, that transformation came around, I would say like, the bug was planted probably uh, in the 2000, 2000, you know? Mm -hmm. um, it didn't really manifest into 2002. That's when I formed Napalm Recordings. You know what I mean? The growth was crazy because I seen them go from the project the project apartment to a side apartment on a side block, you know what I mean? A little condo type of thing. Wasn't owned yet, still renting it, but we had this thing, you know, they uh, was at the studio downstairs. That was like the first 36 chambers. You know what I mean? I say go from that and then I think I did, a, I, I think around that time I ended up doing a bid and when I came out, it was like, you know, I got up with Ninth and it was like we took a ride out to Jersey to the mansion. It, it went from, it really happened kind of fast after that point. I'm not saying the beginning was fast, but the trail around that 96, 97 mark is when 97, it was lit. You know, it was like, they, you know, the mansion was there. You know what I mean? So I seen, you know, I seen the development process and it was, it was, it was surreal. You know what I mean? And to be a part, because I remember we had the first vinyl, we was going around giving, you know, giving vinyl away and giving, you know, we had the tapes and we was giving, you know, putting stickers up. Uh, we had a lot to do with the beginning of just trying to like that, make that pop, at least in the streets as young, you know, young shorties, you know what I'm saying? Mm, that's the jewels right there. Yeah. That's the yeah. jewels, uh -huh. man. So it helped you to make the person that you are today with that W. Of course, of course, that's a fact. I'm not going, I never take from that. That's the, that's the beginning. That's the foundation, you know what I mean? That gave, that gave me a whip. Was I making, was I rapping, you know, before Wu-Tang existed? Yeah, I was, I was a shorty, but that gave us the, opportunity in the lane to give it to the world on a different platform because they were given that opportunity by making that up you know however they made it came across that you know what i mean that story's already been written you know what i'm saying so i'm telling my story you know what i mean and you know what it is people can give you opportunities but it's what you do with them and that's what people that's the other half so people say oh this you know people say this is what happened this so i've never got this opportunity cool but you can be given as many people that's given opportunities but what they do with them is what the, that's what, that determines who they are now. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the difference that's between that's and workers. You know what I mean? That's that, that, that's that whole, that's that fine line right there. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I took it, I took the jewels and I said, you know what? I got to turn this into something for me and my family. You know what I mean? Mm. Because as you know, there's a lot of turmoils and stuff like that, even within the brothers and they, you know, I don't have to say lawsuits and all that, you know, crazy wild shit. But if it's going on there, what does that mean for the dudes that's over here? You know what I mean? So you get what I'm saying? So now I was like, I said, let me, let me build something in a brand that, that my family could eat off of. You know what I mean? And, and, and you know what I'm saying? Have a legacy. Generation wealth. And, 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 that's, and that's when I came with the whole, the napalm, the end. You know what I mean? Mm. The music maker, man. That's what we do. You know, and, and it's, it's outside of that Wu-Tang because Wu-Tang is synonymous with the Kung Fu flicks and all that, Killer Army, we came with the militant discipline, you know what I mean? Military discipline, you know what I mean? War, you know what I mean? And all that what comes with war, you know what I'm saying? Because we fight in the wars on a day-to-day -day basis. Right now, you fighting a war. Both of y'all fighting wars right now. Your red and white cells are fighting right now in your body. Mm -hmm. They're fighting right. bacteria. They're fighting each other. They, it's, it's craziness going on right now. See, war is a whole psychological thing. It's not just scud missiles and all that. And people don't understand how deep I'm involved with that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So okay. this is real, man. Like, you know, when it's all said and done, they're going to they gonna, they gonna, they gonna announce Don P's the uh, golf or the militant hip hop. You know what I'm saying? I'm the only one who's going to it. That's what I'm talking about. Doing it and doing it and doing it and, doing it and stamping it on their neck. And, and you know, they're gonna know what time it is, man. Eventually. It's what's still growing in the growing process, you know? We're still in the growing process. What's the science behind napalm? The the name. Uh, napalm is a a fireball. That's what that is. And we just we everything we do is fire, fire flames, you know? It's about quality of work. It's about that body of work, you know what I'm saying? And I told my fans back on um, I think it was Dirty Weaponry, the shootout. I said, always keep my fans fed. If you just remember that shootout video. <laughs> I got a hunger for the mic, you know, 
boom. I told them I'm always going to keep them fed. And, man, did, did I ever lie? You know what I mean? My yeah. fans know I drop three, four projects a year. It's been doing it nonstop since 2002, man, just keeping them, you know what I mean? Keep yeah. elevating. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> see, that's the key, consistency. Now, what do you seek when you did your selection for the soldiers that's part of your army dealing with napalm? Because I know that's a special hand select that you uh, nominate. Yeah, well, my, my thing was, uh, yo, man, you know what? With, with me, it's all about really like the personal relationship. You know what I'm saying? This is all, this whole thing, a lot of empires are built off of relationships, you know what I mean? For the main part, like, it's like, for instance, I give you Bugsy the God. He was one of my only soldiers that really actually stood to the promised land and still moving with me right now. You know, I had other soldiers that got on and did it. I gave them opportunities. But I, I also, you know, I, they got to want it. They got to want it more than me, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or as bad as me, because I can, I can, I can give us an opportunity. I can shine some light on you because I got some light being shined on me. So I can go and, you know, deflect a little bit and give you the light. But now what you going to, you know what I'm saying? You got to carry the rest of the torch, man. Mm. So Bugsy was consistent. He wasn't even that great of a rapper when I first, you know, met him. He was trying to do his thing before me a little bit. But he didn't, you know, he wasn't, he, he didn't see no big opportunity to actually really run with it. His lyrics wasn't sharp and none of that. But through friendship and trials and tribulations of just chilling with me, hanging out with me, I befriended him. You know what I mean? He was a real dude. He was a cool, humble cat. And his opportunity came. He Little by little, he'll be coming through and say, yo, what you think about this? Or, you know, the first whatever was like, nah, bro, you got to keep at it. I wasn't hating on him. I was keeping it 100. Mm. And then he kept coming back, coming back, coming, and he didn't give up. You see, some cats would have been discouraged. They would have had their tail between their ass. They would have kicked rocks. But he was keeping at, keep at. And then I was like, hmm, he came back with it. I was like, all right, nigga, now you, yeah, now you, all right. You know? <laughs> So the next started going a little bit. I said, dude, and he came, but before you know it, he had a whole LP. And I was like, now you're ready for the world. Now we're going to give it to you. You know? Mm. And, that's what, and that's what happened. You know, so that's did how you work happened. hand in hand with him dealing with the project? Well, his first project, basically, I, 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 oversee, I oversee everything he does. You know what I mean? Like, as far as, like, the, the, the lyrical content and all that, he... He graduated from the Napalm Academy. So like he 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 studied my mannerisms, my cadence, my everything on he been in the studio with me while I was producing all these albums I'm talking about. So he's watching how you gotta deliver this, how you gotta flow. So he pretty much, you know what I mean, studied me. That's my oh, photo job, oh. like for real, you know? And 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 I didn't have to hold his hand at after a certain point. Like, you know, the first album, you know, I had to do a lot of, you know to do this over, do that one, that one can't make, you know, second one still doing a little bit. Third one, now moving forward, he don't need no, you know, it's like, I, I trust his ear now, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I trust his ear, I get his opinion on shit I'm working on. Now. Like, yo, Bugs, what you think of that? Uh, all right. So he he developed, man, it was all this development, but see, I that Napalm Academy is real, man, because look at what he is, he's, he's an incredible lyricist right now. Yeah, yes he is, yes he Incredible. is. We've been blasting off his music on Livewire Radio, So Serious TV, yeah. you know, with streams. I'm proud of him, I'm proud of him because, all that. Yeah, yeah, I'm proud of him because that show improved my power, man. When you, got a, when you got a pupil or a student that can get to that level and you can see them where they can hold their own, man, it just shows and proves, yo, you go to that Napalm Academy, Don P turning cats into some sick lyricists over there, you know what I'm saying? So... That's, that's that. Knowledge, knowledge. That's peace right there. Well, that's a part of a good leader to allow your students to fly on their own instead of trying to keep them. Exactly. Um, that's that's what you went into a lot of times. They don't want, you know, the, the teacher doesn't want the student to get go further or higher. Or yeah, yeah, and so they yeah. continuously put in, what I say, the hand on your, your head to keep you to a yeah. level. You know I feel like, yeah, you know, we could be a lot of cats see it like that when, with, with the army too, you know, like we were like never really meant, you know, I got stories and crazy. I don't want to kill anybody's vibe, but uh, man, where people like, you know, they didn't really expect us to do what we did. It was like really just, you know, to get the bag, you know, get, you know, at that point there was the labels giving out big production deals and we was just part of that because we can be part of getting that. We have, we're yeah. just another day. But then when we came out and we sold, you know, uh, you know, I think it was within under a year, we moved like 350,000 units. Okay. It was like, boom. 
you know, the label was like, yo, and he came back to us. Our brothers came back to us and say, yo, they want to do it again. Mm -hmm. Use our now household name. Because when you reach a certain amount of, uh, you're in enough homes, you consider, you know, anything with over 300000 your household name now. Wow. Use enough to go push and get another budget. So that's how Killer Army, that was how we all became to be able to do three albums like that. And a lot of other cats under, the, you know, that you didn't see them doing, they wouldn't do it because they wasn't moving the units. They weren't, they didn't have that response. So we, that's all work though. Mm -hmm. Because we didn't have a lot of, we didn't have a lot of budget behind us neither. You know, they didn't put a lot of big, there was no big bag behind us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, so that was just grind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a hard grind. How is yeah. the grind now? Because every album that's dropped, and like I told the people earlier before you tagged in, um, your catalog is huge. There's level to this thing. And mm -hmm. every time you release an album, it's another campaign. You got to mm -hmm. work extra hard. You know, the mm -hmm. people now got short-term memory. You could be the yeah. shit today, and then mm -hmm. tomorrow is somebody else. They forgot somebody about else. you. So how do you stay relevant and keep uh, releasing those bangers and come up with different concepts each album? I mean, at this point, man, I, I wrap in my sleep, man. You know, when you do it so much, they say if you put fifteen hundred hours work, uh, fifteen hundred hours put in, is 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 like you you um you're a master now in anything you do. Okay. You could be uh you, you could be you work in the lawnmower, man. You could be on a landscaping business. So if you cut grass for fifteen hundred hours put in on that job, mm -hmm. you are now a master. He knows what levels the Grass got to be just looking at it. Oh, what's going to be to be healthy? What's going to take to get it right? Anything. That's doctor status on anything. So right now, I'm, I apply I my, my PhD and it's like my the flow. I know what needs to be done. You know what I mean? When it comes to me. I, and, and I don't even, my, my, I go green now, man. Most of my stuff, I don't even write down. You might see a pad in my, um in a video I just did or a video or two. And I put it because sometimes I just jot thoughts down so I don't forget them. Or when I want to write them, when I want to say them into the mic, because you, you can't remember, you know, you, you, you said it, you remember it, but you can't, you want to be able to say it with, you know, so, but I don't even, I don't even write no more, man. I haven't wrote for the last four hours, you know? It's just, wow. in my yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's, That's like, that 1,500 hours put in, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing this since a shorty, since eight, nine years old, I've been rapping. Mm -hmm. You see me professional, I went pro at 18 years old. First Killer Army album, Silent Weapons, 18 years old, fresh. Mm -hmm. But... You talking about hit from there to now, uh, but I was rapping since nine years old. Yeah, that's yeah. nine years prior to that. So you do the math, man. Like yeah, I've yeah. I've been doing this, man. I eat and sleep this. You yeah. know what I'm is saying? There, is there a first lady of name poem yet? Uh, I have a love. I have a love. Yeah, I wouldn't say a first lady. No, I mean, I, I mean, I, I love music. I mean, oh, a, a female about, rapper. I mean, I. You know what? <laughs> That's a good question. Well, you know, we all got love, but you know what I mean? I, yeah. I, as far as the uh, first lady thing goes, um, I, I actually, I never really had no female rappers like really trying to like really yeah. sp spit it or like come. Yeah. I never had the, you know? You never ran across I, that I, I never had the opportunity. Now, female vocalists, I had a few. Mm -hmm. That you know, I, I feel like uh, the drive ain't there. I, I told them I want to do things and, and let's do it, mm -hmm. and they didn't show me the the you know yeah that, oh, that the ethic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just oh, you know, if I'm giving you the lane, I'm like ready to put something out, and you just all you got to do is deliver and do your crap. Mm -hmm. Then you should be turning me over like three songs within two to three weeks. That's no. how I feel. Yeah, because that's, that's how I'm working. I'm not I'm not going to expect anything from you that I'm not willing to do. Yeah. Look at what I do. I yeah. got I got about two albums worth of new material right now. I just dropped something in, I don't know, Soldiers Need Love too. What was that, like two, three months ago? Mm -hmm. I got yeah. two more albums for them. So I'm not asking anything of you as an artist that I'm not doing myself. Yeah. I mean, I'm running laps around these dudes like I'm 20-something years old. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, you the spot what I mean? is open, ladies. So if you see, if you got that tenacity, you can run. Yeah, and, you know, I want them to be dope. They gotta tap be on in. They got to be a mixture of MC Light and Lauren Hill wrapped in one bun. You know Ooh, what I'm saying? That's heavy. That's, that's gonna hard at the fuck. Yeah, that really that's going to be very hard to follow, but that's going to be the thing that grabs my ear and say, you know what? We could take over the world, mama. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, okay. Well, I like the there. sound of that. 
That's a deli MC. Yeah. That's, that's a deli MC. Right? Uh-huh. See? Well, uh, <laughs> all facts. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. That's what's up. Congratulations on that napalm and all that. Mm-hmm. Well, Ringing a lot that. of bells, making a lot of noise. You deserve all the accolades you can possibly get and then some. You know, it's hard that. being in the entertainment world and surviving. And now during this COVID-19, is even more hard. So I know the fans want to know, how are you and your family doing during this COVID-19? Um, I'm going to be honest with you, man. The thing been a blessing to me. Mm. A blessing. Yeah. Aside from a couple of associates and friends of the family, I had maybe a pass away here, there, nothing, nothing super immediate, you know what I mean? But aside from that, you know, the, 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 you know, the fallen soldiers that, you know, that I was aware of that was somewhat around in the circle, um, nothing immediate again, but aside from that, the, 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 I, I gotta say, man, it's been a blessing, man, things been good, man. I'm feeling good, feeling incredible, my energy's through the roof, I'm looking good, I'm feeling sexy. That's you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's going you know down, saying? man. He ain't aging a bit. Nah, man. I'm feeling he got that nigga Wolfis juice you know? over there, uh-huh. bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm feeling beautiful, man. I, I can't complain. And I will not say and complain because who's going to care? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Uh, so, yeah, guy, guy, I'll let you go. What does 2021 look for you? Look like for you? Uh, it looked like a movie. I got okay. I got a movie that's uh you know we got a little it was a little on standstill because of the COVID. That's the things that affected stuff like that you know. Yeah. Even my favorite Netflix uh series, which is Ozark, man, that thing got pushed back, uh-huh. and I'm like, oh, that's my joint, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. Oh. That's good. Yeah, I keep but, passing that because I don't know. Oh, you better that. not. You better. You, okay. got series, you got a couple of seasons to ke- play catch up before. Oh, by I the time we done with those, yeah, go start from scratch, yo. You are gonna love it. It's such okay. a dope. I'm, I'm uh, gonna. It's a dope watch. series. Okay. Um, ah, so, so plug you know, that again. Plug that again for yeah. the people out Ozark. here. Go check out the Ozark, man. They better give me a check after this, man. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't do no free endorsements. Y'all better come correct. Right. Yeah. That's what's no, up. But, um, it's a how is it? How is it for you? Uh, transformation into being an actor. How is that? Well, there's more. I'm doing the more. I'm gonna do a little light acting. I did a little light acting. I we did the uh, Gary Shanlin show back in the days. Little skits. I, I did a uh, Comedy Central with uh, Amy Polar. I was bagging her. I was like, "What's up, baby? You wanna go on the rock?" You know, I was doing my little <laughs> joke. My little skits, you know, that's big though. Amy Polar, come on, you know, she's still yeah, yeah. So, you know, I ended up making it in her book with a picture. Me and Rizzo's in her book with a picture, so it's kind of cool, you know. That's um, Gary Shine. Nah, I, mean, I did a little, like I said, light work, but I'm I'm doing the the directing right now. I'm in, I'm into, mm-hmm. you know, I study the crafts of say the Scorseses and the Brian De Palmas. You know what I mean? Like I love I love dope films. I love old gangster flicks. Mm-hmm. I like I like some uh romance comedy i even like those joints you know what i mean it, it, right so I, i'm a big movie buff man my my, my extensive you know i got extensive knowledge man in that field of, you know films what's your actors. favorite romantic comedy oh man you gonna <laughs> come with the romantic comedy uh-huh. I would say Knocked Up is one of the, I like Knocked Up. Okay. Knocked knocked up. That's a classic. Yeah, that's, that's a classic. I like yeah. Knocked Up. Okay. You know? Uh-huh. Um, something About Mary is funny, another joint, you know? Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, little joints like that. I got some deeper ones, but I would have to go through my whole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean? What's your favorite Mob Boss movie? Oh, uh, Goodfellas. Oh, yeah. Ah! Top of the line. Top of the line. Yeah. I know a lot of people go with the Scarface. That that comes in my top five. Tom Scarface is dope, classic uh-huh. for sure. Yeah. But Goodfellas, yeah, Goodfellas. It's, it's nobody done it like that ever. They still, uh-huh. I'm still waiting for Scorsese to bring back one like that and yeah. do it. He did The Irishman, and it was cool, but it was kind of like an old man flick for me. It didn't drag me in. It didn't have enough. Uh. Yeah. But Goodfellas, that's it. Top of the line. Yeah. Top of the line. Casino's dope. You know, we got all of those. Uh, Carlitos Way, those are all my top five. Mm-hmm. Scarface, those are my top five. Yeah, like yeah. uh-huh. But Goodfellas, 
<laughs> top of the line, top of the line. Definitely. Yeah, the movies you watch uh-huh. kind of tells a lot about the person's characteristics. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, that's a fact. That's you can learn a lot from a lot of things. Movies right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you haven't checked it out, they definitely need to go and get some popcorn, get their scoop snack. Oh, you got to go snack. check them out, man. Yeah, if you it's ain't seen like, I felt good, good fellas in the casino. I'm yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. It's good yeah you, we don't even need to be friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good cinema, you know. I mean, it's yeah. good cinema. They don't make that feeling like a lot of these movies now. They're like eight, you know. They got this, you know, this 4K and this a real crispy look to them, and you know, it's, mm-hmm. it just looks so digital. It's like you you you're doing it with a home camera. It don't bring you into that film yeah. cinematic look, you know. Oh. And I'm a fan of that look, like The Godfather. Godfather is classic too. I, yeah. I I I like The Godfather, but I it I, it didn't ever bring me in like The Goodfellas though. Like you know, oh, what I mean, yeah. it was classic. Yeah. yeah, it was classic. It just didn't bring me in like that. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Definitely a classic. No, no, it's, it's, yeah. classic. it's classic. That's going to fall in my top 10, but just not my top five. You know what okay. I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's Moon Wednesday. Moon We're Wednesday. in the building. Mm-hmm. DJ Livewire, Ray Jackson, yeah. and we kicking it with Dawn Pacino, yeah. the head general, uh-huh. Nate Paul. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's real Ooh. big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. We Brand live. new projects uh, popping off. Yep. Yeah, we live on YouTube, on Facebook, yeah. on Instagram. Spotify. Uh, we live on everything. So we, live, we live on everything. Yeah, we yeah. yeah, we live on everything right now. So. We all the way live. Yeah, we, we live. live. Yeah. <laughs> you already live. know. Who, who, what was your influence growing up? You know, we, we know Wu-Tang, but what's your influence musically? Like? Oh, well, probably before there was a Wu-Tang, I told you I was doing it, so... I mean, I was a Kane, you know, Kane was my dude. You know, one of my first CDs, Kane, uh, Cool G Rap, Slick okay. Rick, okay. Bigger, he's, uh, he's my number one. Like, Slick Rick's like my number hey, one guy. Slick Rick! Okay, that's yeah, 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 I love Slick. Yeah. Slick just brought the harmonization mm-hmm. and the, hey, young world, young yeah. world. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just, you know, uh-huh. yo, shout out to Slick Rick, man. Big, big, big inspiration. Like I told you, the Canes, Coogee Raps, Rock Him, mm-hmm. uh, EPMD. You know, that was yeah. pretty much, if yeah. I had to grab the handful of them, that yeah. would that would pretty much epitomize my inspiration, you know, growing up as a short. That's fire. <laughs> Straight <laughs> fire. Did you hear the list? Nate Paul. Yeah. That's, That's fire. It. Right there, man. What y'all, what y'all, who wants to go against that list, man? Who wants to go against that list? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd like to know that. That's Punk stuff up to get beat right down. <laughs> yeah, you know? man. So you got some brand new projects coming out there for the people. Let the people know. Yeah. Your projects and the producers and the people you're collaborating with. By the way, nice piece. The chain was already oh, magnificent. Yeah, I didn't see that one. Look, that's nice like, piece. Oh. Yeah, you blinded me, man. Yeah, that's. I'm feeling like Stevie right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um, yeah, I got the. We just dropped the Soldiers Need Love too. Y'all can stream that everywhere. Uh, you know, it's on iTunes, Amazon, Spotify. Everywhere you could go to listen to music, Pandora, we everywhere, you know. Um, mm. Then I got the uh, the T4 coming right now, November 26th. That's going to be uh, it's gonna be crazy, crazy hardcore. I'm back to the, you know, that Love album, I gave them a mixture of just relationships and all crazy. It's nothing soft, nothing super soft, but it's just real relationships and what, you know, that was inspired by true life events and, and just my imagination and a lot of dope shit, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, they got they can go get that. That's available now. And then we got that T4 coming and that's going to feature Shaheem on there. We got uh, uh, Shabam Sadiq. We got Jojo Pellegrino. We got Bugsy the Guard. We got an upcoming cat, Recognize Ali on it. It's dope. Um, you know, we crushing them right now, you know. It's Banger. Be, it's be a nasty yeah, Banger. Cool. Shaheen just came home. So salute yeah, yeah, Shaheen the fucking child and all that. Another Wu veteran mm-hmm. from day one. Okay. Yeah, man. Me and Sha. Me and Shah, go go on and on, me, son. Yeah. Me and, Shah, me and Shah go back eight, nine years old too. Like, mm. that's, like you know. That's crazy, yeah. The history, you know, is nuts, man. That's my, that was my whole circle, you know. So that's okay. what's up. That's tough, man. That's a tight circle right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, man. That's history. Yeah, nah, but yeah, we got a lot. Like I said, the movies don't start. We're gonna be getting into production with that soon. You know, we was held up with the COVID. We got that. We got that new T4 coming, and we got Bugsy the God coming to drop a jewel too on y'all soon. You know what I mean? That might be the topic that 
that might be the top of next year, first quarter. But we 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 prepping that right now also. You know what I mean? Right. Y'all make sure y'all look out for that, cause that's tough right there. That's power up, baby. Mm-hmm. Power up right there, man. You can't go wrong with that. Mm-hmm. That's something for I the mean, music that's out there. Let me ask you a Real question. Cool hip hop okay. Go ahead. I want to ask you, I, I liked your piece too, by the way, bro. You got nice <laughs> yeah, yeah, Thank yeah, you, man. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, man. Just a little wild yeah. yeah. water, little wild water. I like that. I don't like know. That. I'm trying to sound that. like you, sir. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Nah, so my thing is, how long y'all been doing this, man? Because I just got put on to y'all, so I want to know how long y'all been running for right now. Well, Love Wire Radio itself has been out for some years since 1997. So mm. we just started um, in the Bronx, 212, 213, on Gun Hill Road, White Plains. Uh, mm. It was called Diamond Sounds. And we used to okay. get over 2.5 million viewers a night where we had a house. Mm. And it was actually six different channels. And the channels consist of each room. Uh, one room you come in, I uh, interview you, you get a choice to either spit a hot 16 or stand on the stage, which was in the living room, with the DJs on the ones and twos, or you can go upstairs and there's nothing but instrumentals. So there's no there's no interviews, you just spin for a whole hour, non-stop. And <laughs> two DJs is just switching beats. You know what I'm well, saying? Let me ask you a question. Did you did you did you document all of this at that yeah, time? Yeah, it's documented. My partner at that time was uh, Michael Tucker. He's a school teacher right around the corner. He still owns mm. the building. You know what I'm mm. saying? But the house that we was doing out of caught on fire. That's when we had pirate, um, Huh? You were pirate, was it pirate radio? You it pirate? was pirate radio during the same time they had Guan Guan radio. Oh, yeah, wow. so we had Mikey, Jared, we had all of them coming through. We had uh, Maserati the Facts, May God Bless the Dead, uh, um, G Unit, Dumb mm-hmm. Out. We had them okay. come through. We had Lazy K come through with um, Max B. You know what I'm saying? So big oh, shout okay. out to him. Uh, 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 during that time, um, Rav, R.A.P. the Rav uh, from Brooklyn mm-hmm. Zoo. He came through okay. with Pauly Zance. And the rest of them, Fire Tonka. Uh, uh, um, it was the list goes on and on. But we had a lot of celebrities. I was listening to parties during that time. I was young, dumb, and full of cum, and we didn't have no insurance. So um, that was before me. Yeah, that, that's, that's like, prior that, to uh, you. And then the house, the house burned down. You know what the so during now, mm-hmm. you know, to fast pace it up. During now, we started Woo Wednesdays. Um, this is episode nine. So this is the born, the born episode right now. You know what I'm saying? Featuring you. And we have Hype, which is on Saturday. And we just was blessed to um, interview um, Rusty the Jokes. So we mm. have Rusty in the building, right? So that was real, real big. We also had uh, Rock Boys. They was just in the building. And Federal Star from Irons. Yeah. That's dope. So y'all keeping it, y'all got it going, man. Y'all got it moving. And, and your syndication is how, m- how many people tune in at, at any given moment, you said? Oh, uh, right now we're getting over a million because we stream on Spotify, Pandora, Deezer, iHeart, Tiki Live. So we actually on uh, radio and TV as well. Not pre-recorded, live stream. So while they hear us, the TV people hear us too, man. Oh, wow, that's dope. That's dope. Yeah, no, I liked it the way it was set up when I when I when I chimed in on the Bugsy interview and I clicked the link and it went to the site and I heard it playing live on the site. I thought I was like, yeah, I like the way you got y'all moving right, man. Y'all got that going on, man. Thank you, man. It's a blessing. Salute. It's a blessing. The website is coming. If the countdown begins, so that's a surprise for all the fans and viewers out there. Well, we got a custom-made, brand new website about to pop off for the Livewire Radio So Serious TV, brought to you by the Climax Corporation, Universal Music Group, In Groove, Top of the Building, and Mercedes Benz. Go buy a Benz. All that was just where I came in. Yeah, yeah. Boom, <laughs> Worldwide <laughs> DJ Core. Let me hear yeah, but thank you, Ron, from day one. Just like you, I was out there at mm-hmm. Bar 85, Maria Davis, and at the tunnel, and I was out there with the coins. So I saved the beginning of the Sons and Mans. You know what I'm saying? And I was yeah. out there, I rock with Dirty on a regular. I used to make the gold fronts. I made the uh the uh the Wu Tang Forever Gold Fronts on that album that they got with the things. I made it in yeah. Power Gold. I was the Power Gold front guy. 
you know what I'm saying, with Leo yeah. and Dave. So I was blessed. The ODB come down in the morning with 60 Second Assassin, and I roll up the L's, and we got the L's, and we got the four <laughs> dog out there. You know what I'm saying? Early in the morning, all all that me. So all this is history. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm happy to do it but you got to have all this history in order to get here. Like I was telling the people out there, I do a trivia question out there, and I was asking them, what was the first Wu Tang logo before the W? Right? And a lot of people didn't even know. A lot of the staff didn't even know about the hand with the head. You know what I'm saying? They don't know about that. You know what I'm saying? So it's different branches and different different branches of the Wu, but all one history. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I, a part of that. I salute yeah. you on all your hard work and longevity because in order for me to even get to this point, it was a life jeopardy, man. It took me a lot to even get here. When people didn't believe, I still had the grind mode out and God is good because if God is driving the ship, you ain't got to worry. You know, if you pray, you don't worry. You can't do both. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So A like B like and C like. That's why we connecting right here on Woo Wednesday Live Wire Radio Show. Yeah, yeah with DJ Live yeah. Wire Ray Jackson and Don Pacino, name Paul recording artist, general, CEO, founder. That's you, man. That's yeah. you. <laughs> you know, I gotta give him a cherry shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, you know what I mean? No, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah, so back to you, man. I can't hear you. I think it's your mic. There you go. No, I still can't hear you. You're real low. Yeah, I got you now. There you go. Yeah, so tell the people what you got coming out this COVID. You did that. You talked about your collaboration. Anything that you haven't talked about that you want your fans to know about? Man, I just want to let them know, you know, got some good music Coming on by Woo Wednesday, man. It was an honor to have you up in the building. DJ Livewire, Ray Jackson, Don Pacino, Kill Army. Yeah, another fantastic Woo Wednesday, man. We feel so blessed to have you in the building. I think Ray Jackson went and reloaded, got himself a little drinky drink. What's up? That's what's up. Yeah, look, look, look us up. Uh, we'll definitely tap back in with you for the round two. Yeah, yeah for sure. That's when the I